Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is an extra video for Game Week 30 where I talk about my wildcard and what I'm going to do with it. The two main strategies that seem to be going on are either people are wildcarding now and they have their free hit left, in which case they wildcard now for Game Week 37, that's going to be a double, and they free hit in Game Week 34. If they've not got their free hit left, then they're wildcarding now trying to be sensitive to both. And there's another option where people aren't wildcarding now, they're going to dead end in 34, then wildcard in 35. And all of those options are looking at bench boosting in 37. That's not what everyone's doing, but that is the most common thing. However, I don't have a bench boost. I wasted it for about 12 points earlier in the season. So I'm in a slightly different position. And I have looked at wildcarding game week 37. That was my original plan. because so I thought I'd get out. 22 players for that week and then game week 38 can look after itself however I'm not so sure that's a good idea now and I could fix my current team with just a few transfers but I've decided to wildcard anyway even though it's possibly a bit excessive but hey that's that's what I'm going to do so we look at my team before we do that just a couple of other points to mention so regarding the midnight mule cup that starts this game week John Hamilton asked the question, what am I going to do about it? Am I doing anything? So he thought about it, threw around a couple of ideas. And what we seemed to agree was, we look at who I'm going to play. And this week I'm playing Ben Johns, who's got chuckleheads. If I win, that's fine. Then next week we look at who I'm going to play. And we keep doing that each time I win. When I lose, so for example, if Ben Johns beats me this game week, in my next week's video... We look at Ben's team, what he did, and then we look at who Ben's going to play. And we keep looking at Ben's team until he gets knocked out. Then we look at and follow whoever knocked him out. And in the end, we see who wins the whole cup. It's just a bit of extra fun and it won't take long to do, honestly. It'll probably be quicker than the time I just spent explaining it. And then regarding Fancy Challenge, which most of you probably know about and some of you will be doing... Earlier on today, John asked the question, have I got a league code? And I'd not made a league, so I've now knocked one up. I'll try and remember to put the code in the description. The code is 1MABTT, and at time recording, there are three of us currently in the team. So this is how my team looked, and I'll go through each player and tell you what my thinking was regarding the wildcard. And I absolutely didn't need to wildcard. I've not pressed the button yet, but I'm 99% sure I am going to press the button. I can actually probably get out of playing team now. So I could work with this and I'm sure a lot of managers would work with this. But given I don't have my bench boost, I'm in a different position to other people. So Neto, the goalkeeper for Bournemouth. Bournemouth has some very nice fixtures coming up and they double in 34. There's some talk about Neto may get dropped. I'm dropping him. Dubravka, I think Newcastle defence have got a bit better recently. I quite like Dubravka. They've got some very nice fixtures coming up. They double in 37. There's a reasonable chance Pope's going to be back by 37. So I'm going to get rid of Dubravka. Gabriel, although he's flagged, he's probably all right, really. It's probably just a bit of a hurt, so he can't go away on the internationals. He's expected to play this weekend, I think. But I'm going to get rid of him anyway. Senesi, he's going to be out for a while, probably. So he's gone. A Astupanan, Brighton fixtures aren't great. They do double in 37. But he's 4.9 million. I can't afford to keep him. He's out of here. Doughty, very attacking player. I do like him, but he's out of here. Trippier, very expensive. He's not been very good recently. But Newcastle do have some good fixtures coming up. Should I keep him? Shouldn't I keep him? For now, I'm keeping him. Saka, although he's flagged, going to keep him. Foden, most of the permutations I've tried, I've taken Foden out. And I like them all right, but I don't like not having Foden. I think Foden's an exceptionally good player. And all the time he seems to be getting close to 90 minutes, I think I should probably keep him. Unless he has a run of a few bad games. So Foden stays. Palmer stays. Garnacho, I really like Garnacho, but somebody has to make way in midfield. So he's out of here. And I'll probably bring him back either in game week 34 or 35. Sun is here at the moment. I've tried different permutations without him. There's a reasonable chance I'll sell him next week because 
he's not going to be around in 34 anyway, and he has some rougher fixtures. I know he's got some doubles, but they're not great doubles. So he may be gone, but he's here at the moment. Watkins, there's a lot of money tied up in Watkins. Two of the next four include Man City and Arsenal. So lots of managers are understandably getting rid of Watkins to pay for Salah. I decided to keep him. Regarding Solanke, he's got a nice double in 34. He's got some nice fixtures before that. On paper, he looks like a very good player to keep, but I'm getting rid of him because he's not been great. And it, recently, he really, he really hasn't. I know he's got the odd goals. I know he got a hat-trick at Nottingham Forest, but he was against 10 men at Nottingham Forest at the time. And I kind of feel there are better strikers out there. So even though I'm going to lose him in the Dublin 34, he's gone. As for Haaland, everyone in the dog says you've got to keep Haaland. No need to explain why. And they spend half a minute explaining why they're going to keep him. I'm getting rid of Haaland. I may well bring him back for the Luton game. But I've not definitely decided that yet. I may bring him back in 35. I may bring him back in 37. I will probably bring Haaland back. But for the next two or three weeks, I'm going about Haaland. So the way my team's going to look now, potentially, what I'm thinking is Petrovic and Pickford in goal. I'm going to have White in defence. He's my favourite Arsenal defender, I think. And I, I should never have messed around all those weeks ago when I moved White onto Saliba and then Gabriel. That was just silliness. So Bradley, I really like him. Trent's not going to be back for three or four weeks, probably, game weeks. So he, Bradley should get the next two games. I'm aware that's a transfer waiting to happen. So maybe in three or four weeks, he'll become Virgil van Dijk or someone else. But he's probably going to go, but he's here for now. Gusto's nice and cheap. He should stay until James is back. And we don't know when that's going to be. Maybe he won't even make the end of the season. But I may have to move Gusto on near the end of the season, but we don't know yet. I think Norrie's nice and cheap. He's got a nice double in 34. Midfielder. Predictably, I'm bringing in Salah. And then for my two strikers, I really wanted Jackson and Isaac and Darwin. And it's really tough choosing between them. The one I wanted the most was Jackson, but the nine yellow cards is a bit of an issue. Darwin had the potential bit of a knock. Is he going to play? But Klopp seems to think he is going to play. And Isaac has some nice fixtures, but then they fade away a little bit. Then he's got a double in 37. And I've tried all sorts, but in the end, what I've settled on is... I'm going with Darwin and Isaac. So that's how it's looking. The cap, the Midnight Mule hat, is likely to go on Palmer, Salah or Sun. And I keep changing my mind <laughs> which one it's going to be. I, I know most people who've got Salah will put their cap on Salah. But he's not played 90 minutes yet, has he? I don't think so. Uh, I'm not sure. And there's enough people not having Salah that if I don't captain him and he does well he should still get me a green arrow effectively for him and not red. So I don't know. I really don't know where I'm going to put the uh, the captain. But one of those three would be the captain. One of those three would be the vice captain. And then my bench is going to be White, Altonore and probably Saka. And I will try and remember to post my team on Twitter anyway before 11 o'clock or X as it's now called. As for the background picture, that's me or at least it's a kitten. Being completely overwhelmed the last few days, trying to think about the football, thinking about the numbers, looking at so many permutations. And there's the added pressure, of course, on social media where people post their teams and their ideas. And I don't necessarily agree with what they're doing, but I'm aware that loads of people are doing the same thing. For example, keeping Haaland, getting rid of Watkins. I think they've got those two potentially the wrong way around. If Watkins and Haaland were both 8 million... I would keep Haaland. But the price difference is enough for me to think I'd rather keep Watkins. I'll probably sell Watkins to get Haaland in a few weeks' time. But for now, Watkins staying. There we have it. It's been a tough couple of weeks trying to work all this out. And I've even had to record this video twice because I said one word wrong that I was aware of and I couldn't overdub it. And I was like, ah, oh, I'll re-record it. <laughs> um, I know not many people get to see this because it's too near the deadline. It's The deadline's going to be in about 13 hours time, I think, at time of recording. So I hope you have a fun game week 30. It's great to have FPL back again. And let's see how much Harlan's going to hurt me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.